背負い投げ背負い落とし浮き落とし払い腰跳ね腰大外刈り小外刈り小外掛け大外車内股内股透かしきびす返し巴投げ俵返しカニバサミ山嵐浮き技小内刈り大内刈り肩車横車吊り込み腰袖吊り込み腰払い吊り込み足燕返し抱き別れ大外刈り小外刈り小外刈り Judo was founded in 1882 by Jiren Okano. After studying Jiu Jitsu for many years from several different instructors, he opened his own dojo in a Buddhist temple in Tokyo. Judo literally translates to gentle way, reflecting Kano's philosophy of maximum efficiency with minimal effort. While this is also a concept of Jiu Jitsu, Kano felt that it had a much wider application. He also knew that there was a popularity decline in the practice of Jiu Jitsu. He used this philosophy as the guidelines for what techniques should be practiced and emphasized the importance of efficiency and technique execution. These ideas eventually strayed from the Jiu Jitsu path and led to Kano's new martial art, Judo. One of the most famous Judo practitioners was Masahiko Kimura, born in 1917 and died in 1993 of lung cancer. Kimura is considered one of the greatest judoka of all time. It is said that when it comes to the mastery of technique, There were none before him and none after. He has won all Japan Collegiate Championship, four All Japan Championships, one West Japan Championship, and many more battles. There is a myth about his impossibly hard training regimen, like how he practiced nine hours a day and practiced his leg sweep on trees, did thousands of push ups every day, and had daily sparring sessions with Tokyo police officers. One of his most famous victories was against Brazilian Jiu Jitsu creator Helio Gracie. Today, Judo is widely practiced and in 1964 became an Olympic sport. Some of today's most famous judoka are Greece's Ilias i l i n i d i s American Travis Stevens, and American Kayla Harrison. Kayla Harrison gave America its first gold medal in Judo at the 2012 Olympics. Here are some local DC judoka to talk about judo. Leo Fisher, Uchimata. He's David Morrow, and I'm going to demonstrate Tyler Gosha. My name is Terrence McPartland, and my favorite throw is Harai Gosha. So, what's your name? I'm Leo Fisher. What do you do?、Uh, I teach judo here at、uh, Kennedy Rec Center. Okay, what's your rank?、Uh, I'm a sandong. What's a sandong again? It's a third degree black belt. Okay, so how long have、uh, you been doing judo?、Uh, well, I started judo when I was a really little kid because my mom taught judo, but I've really been doing it continuously since about 2000. My name is David Morrow,、uh, and I'm a green belt, a gokyu, and a、uh, uh, judo. Uh, USA Judo, I think.、Uh, what is your name and what do you do? My name is Terrence McPartland and I do government consulting and financial services.、Uh, what is your rank in Judo? I'm a Sandan, a third degree black belt in Judo. Third degree black belt in Judo. Thank you very much.、Uh, did you, how did you get started in Judo? I got started in Judo because my parents、uh, gave me one of those standardized tests. Where they say, you know, you're good at this and you're bad at that. And I, my spatial perception was in the 11th percentile. So my parents wanted a graceful genius and they put me in judo. Nice.、Uh, I, I love judo. I think it's great for my body.、Um, it's, it's fun. It's, it's good to exercise. Like I, when I started doing judo back in college, I, it was、uh, something new and exercise. And it was, gave me friends and, you know, it was fun and it was a great workout. And I think it's good for everybody's body. Trip over your own feet, even you're not gonna hurt yourself. You might get bruised, but you're not gonna, you know, break a leg or something.、Um, what are your goals in Judo? What rank do you wish to reach?、Uh, do you want to referee? Do you want to、uh, teach more?、Uh, well, my, my main goal these days is just competition. Like, I've been、um, competing for a while, and、uh, I'd really like to get like, a goal in nationals. And then,、um, and that's sort of why 
I actually started teaching because I wanted to get a class with all these people that I could work out with. And uh, I've sort of started liking to teach and try to get people up and like sort of, you know, teach good judo, bring good judo to the area and, and make people really want to compete. So judo, after uh, about three years doing jiu-jitsu, which is kind of the ground work base of judo, uh, judo came from jiu-jitsu. Uh, I've been doing this for about a year now. Uh, Devin, got, Devin uh, Brown Belt, he got me into it. And I've uh, been sticking with it for about a year now. Uh, why do you keep doing judo? Why haven't you given up a kid to go back to jiu-jitsu? I mean, I do jiu-jitsu too, probably like twice a week. Uh, I mean, there were times in judo where I really wanted to give up, especially after getting my purple belt in jiu-jitsu, which is kind of like the intermediate, uh, higher intermediate rank. And I was getting my butt handed to me all the time out on the mat here. And I uh, pretty much wanted to quit almost every other day. But uh, I knew that if I quit, I would never get better. So I just kept coming back and, uh, you know, slowly but surely, I you know, started to improve. Uh, how long have you been doing judo now? Uh, it will be on and off. It will be 42 years next year. Awesome. And then, um, what are your, um, what's like your long-term goal for judo? What do you want to reach? What's like the end point for you when you say, I've done it? Well, there's really two judos. Okay. One judo is the judo of the body, learning to throw and learning to choke and learning to put yourself in situations where other people would maybe get nervous or panic or choke. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the higher judo is the judo where you learn to apply what you've learned in those pressure situations in real life. Sometimes that's how to be cool in a business situation. Sometimes that's how to have compassion for other people. Because in judo you have to feel where your, where your opponent is. You have to know where you are. And you have to know where they are. And that's the foundation of compassion. For many, judo is more than just a sport. It is a lifestyle a feeling, and a philosophy.